beautiful creatures, my little pookie bears, my little rat. Welcome to hack a Monday, everybody. We are back better than ever because today we're going to be using all the new update items in these hacks, so, so let's get into it. But first and foremost, guys, I feel like I need to delete this plot. Thank you to whoever wrote poop on my plot with leaves. Uh, I'll find you. But also that means that my little Valentine's Day uh, little uh, chair is going to go away. So, uh, so we're going to go ahead and make this into a trash poor type of chair at the end of this video. So if you want to see that, make sure to stay till the end. But we need some more room for these hacks. So let's go ahead and bulldoze this plot. Code unicorn right over here. Click enter and boom, it's empty. Also, if you guys ever buy Robux or premium, make sure to use code unicorn. If you guys do, send me some screenshots on Discord, Twitter. I'll retweet it. I'll, I'll give you a shout out just enough FYI. Anyways, let's get started. I'm pulling all these hacks from my Discord server. So whoever gave me some hacks, thank you so much. There's some good ones, I will say. Our first hack over here is a broken toilet. Now we've done this hack before, but now that we have this cool new toilet, if I could find it, where's the toilet? Right over here, this cool new broken toilet. It actually looks like it's a broken, so I think it will look a lot better. And to make this a broken toilet, we're gonna need a sprinkler. I think it's called a sprinkler, right? What are these called? A sprayer, guys. I haven't used these sprayers in so long. It's bringing back my memories. I can talk. It's a Monday, guys. Leave me alone, please. But what I'm gonna do is get an arch. Actually, I don't think we need an arched one, right? Actually, I think we just need a, sp a sprayer that goes up because it's like clogged that way. You know, that would make a lot more sense. Yeah, there we go. And if you want to make it gross, er, you can change the sprayer into like a pee color <laughs> to make it look like there's pee coming out of it. But here we go. Let's go into, I think I'm on, I'm on small grid, by the way. So if you want to put small grid down and then put that there, boom, guys, we now have a broken toilet with pee coming out. But to make it even look a little bit better, we're going to get a dirt pile, a bigger dirt pile here, not a small, actually a small. Let's get a small dirt pile here. And we're going to change this into some water. But since I made this into a pee, I guess we're just going to go into pee. Yeah, let's just make it pee colored. But there is a water texture that you probably want to use. And there we have it, guys. We have a broken toilet with pee coming out of it. Kind of unsanitary, kind of gross. But hey, this would look pretty good in like an abandoned house or something. <laughs> All right, what is the next? Okay, we have something cute. All right, we have something cute coming out of this uh, this uh, poor, poor little update we got. This trash update. Uh, we have a cute little bunny. I'm not going to lie. I have no clue how she made this bunny. Okay, they look like basic shapes. It looks too hard. I ain't making it. But hey, you can you can make a little bunny thing inside of this crate that we caught. This crate is actually really cute because there's also this other hack by Camo here. He made a broken bed. Oh my gosh, there's pictures of me. Oh my gosh, slay! But he made a broken bed into a cute one. But he also used a crate at like a like a like, like a little um side thingy mobber to put like books in and stuff like that. This would also be really cute to like put uh blankets in, right? Because I've used like crates to add blankets in before so i want to do that let's do our own little hack little thing mobber here okay also if you're wondering why my grass is colored yellow i made a ugly house yesterday and it just matched the vibe so if you haven't checked out that video go check it out it's a 21 minute video go watch it it's actually really good i'm just saying it's pretty good uh but anyways moving on let's go and get some blankets oh those are paper guys i'm blind why am i getting paper oh this is what i wanted folded blanket it's a little too big though. Can I make you? <gasps> I can make you smaller. Okay, you're a little too small. Let me let me make you a little bit bigger. Okay, so we can put some blankets inside, making this into like a little blanket crate. Oh my gosh, guys! I don't think I can stack them. I mean, with some basic shapes, you can probably stack them, but I'm too lazy for that. Okay. And then we can also get a draped uh blanket probably and put this on the side. Wait, can I not do that? You know what? It's fine. I can do the transform tool. It's fine. So we're just gonna transform this up a little bit. And then we're gonna put it on the side of uh, let's put it on the side of the bin. But as you can see, it is way too big. Don't worry, we can scale it. So let's make it a little bit smaller. Oh my gosh, wait, this actually looks kind of cute. You just want to drape it to the side. <gasps> Guys, and okay, maybe not blankets inside, but a blanket on the side is actually kind of cute. Like you can do that and then put some like books inside or something like that, and then put it on a table, not a table, on a bed, or like next to a bed. Super cute idea. I love that. All right, what's next on the list? 
Oh my gosh, we have co-optus in the wall. <laughs> so there's holes in Bloxburg now. And apparently if you put decals on it, you can see through them. So let's try this out. Which is kind of interesting because these um these decals, not these decals, these holes do not look like they're open, right? So like you can't see through them. But apparently if I put a decal on the back, I should be able to see through them if that's how it works. Or maybe I transform it. Actually, I might need to transform it. You know what? Let's do that. Let's see if I can just transform it to the back. So let's change the picture. Of course, we have to go with Co-Optus. So let's get a picture of Co-Optus here. Okay, let me see if I, if I put it back here. Can I see it? No. So I think it's like a whole transform tool. So let's do this. And then let's take the transform tool. Wait, can I not transform you? Bruh, I thought I could transform you. No way. Okay, I can't transform it. Wait, do I need a basic shape? Maybe I'm doing this the hard way. Maybe there's an easier way to do this, but I don't know it. So I'm just going to do it with this. I'm just going to get a, a basic shape here. There we go. I'm going to put co-optus on it. There we go. And then we're going to transform the basic shape. All right. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Oh my gosh, guys. It works. It works. Okay, we need to put this a little bit higher though. And there we go, guys. We have now co-optus in the wall. So I think that's how you do it. You have to get a basic shape and then transform it because clearly when I put the decal in the back or anything, it doesn't like show through. Um, but... There we have it. We can have things in the holes. So if you want to put things in the hole, you can put things in the holes. All right. Holes every day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Moving on from the holes. We have Jenna here who made a little mouse cage. This is so cute. There's like a mouse coming out of this thingy, which I still don't know what this is. So we actually did this before. Apparently it's a basic shape. Maybe it's something like a rock. I haven't found the rock that works, but basic shapes work. So you can get some, I, I don't know if it works on this shape, but let let me go get a mouse hole real quick. My 119 mouse holes that I have here. So let's use one of them. Okay, yes, I can put it on this one because there is a flat edge to it. So you can use basic shapes for this as well. Um, but again, you can use whatever you want. So let's just make a little cage, shall we? So she made it a little concrete. Okay, we need to make the cage first though i feel like so to make the cage we're gonna need some basic shapes guys oh my gosh we're gonna have to do a lot of work okay this might this might take me a bit guys so let's make the bottom of the cage first i'm gonna go into large grid so i can i can know what i'm doing here we're just gonna make it one cube sure and then we're gonna get a transparent cube and then this is where we're gonna have to do a couple because we need to surround it by all four sides so we already got one there so let's put that there Copy and paste, put another one here, and then we're gonna slant it. And last but not least, put one on that side. So now that we have a full enclosed place, so we can start decorating. You know, I'm just gonna see what she did. Okay, so she made a dirt. Okay, her cage looks a lot better than my cage, I will say, um, but it's fine. We should put like a little dirt thing on it, and then, okay, okay, I'm gonna add some plants. Okay, my cage is very small. Peter's gonna be knocking at my door and being like, hey, your cage is a little too small for your rat, all right? We are taking him away from you. Okay, so for this, we're gonna make it brown and then add some, not dirt, let's add some grass so it looks like dirt. There we go. <gasps> it's looking so good. And then this, I mean, I can make it whatever I want. So let's just make it pink, maybe, you know, why not? But what texture do I want? You know what? Let's just add some uh, horizontal planks. Why not? Okay, and then we need to move our... Why can't I move this? Why can't I move this? Do I need a guys? I can't move my mouse trap. I can't move it. Am I frozen? Okay, now I can move it. I think I was just stuck for a bit. Now the problem is this is a little too big now because I made <laughs> guys, I made it too small. This 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 rat's gonna this rat's gonna hate me. I made his enclosure so small. And then we're just gonna put it right there. Okay, this is a little too big still. Maybe we we'll <gasps> we can do that. We can do that. That works. Okay, that works. Uh, she added one of these natural plants, which is kind of cute, but I think it's a little too I can think I <gasps> I can shrink it! Uh, guys, easy. Easy. We can add an onion plant. Why not? Do 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 mountain do mice eat onions? I don't know if they eat onions, but hey. I feel like they just eat anything, you know? Like, they, they can just eat anything, right? Like, will they die with an onion plant? I hope I don't kill my mouse. Oh, no, guys. I'm gonna go to jail for killing my mouse. Okay, I'm trying to make this bigger. I mean, smaller. And it's only getting bigger. Like, what is this? Okay, this does not get that small. But I think I can still fit. Okay not too shabby we don't have that much room i'm not gonna lie <laughs> okay there we have that and then last but not least we just have to oops i didn't want to do that <gasps> i accidentally bought, bought another mouse oh no guys i just want i just wanted the bottom my lazy butt couldn't just make it again and i wasted 150 blocks bucks on another stupid mouse trap oh no not a mouse trap mouse hole i have too many holes man too many and then we just put one oh that is so uneven 
Then we put one on the top like so. Okay, there we go. And now we have a little mouse enclosure. Wait, this is actually kind of cute. Now we can have a, a little pet mouse. So I wonder if it'll come out still. Hey, come out, mousey. I can't click on it because it's inside glass. So maybe if we just wait for it, maybe it'll come out eventually, you know? Okay, guys, I'm going to sit here and wait for the mouse to come out. I mean, it has to come out eventually, right? I've got cheese. Okay, I'm too lazy to uh, to wait for it. So <laughs> it eventually will come out while we do some other hacks, probably. All right, moving on from that one, even though hers is way better than mine, but it's okay. I actually thought of this and I was like, this is genius, guys. We actually made a patio in the video before this, uh, but this is actually perfect for also a raised deck. Like, look at this, this is by Ren. And you just put it on the second floor and you can make a little raised deck out of it. And it looks fantastic. I really don't have a house to make this on, but... But, I mean, I can I can just show you, I guess. So, if we go to new and go to wooden planks, pallets, not planks. Well, you can't transform it, by the way. So, you have to get some, you have to get some basic shapes first. So, we're just going to get a transparent basic shape, shrink it down. And then, I think if we go in the basement, I can grab onto it. Yes, I can grab onto it. Okay, and then we just, we can just raise it. So, that's how you can make a little patio. Um, it does require basic shapes in the transform tool but you can make a patio not a patio yeah a deck or a patio the patio is on the floor which i made in my previous video so go check that out but uh, if you want to make a, a raised palette you can do that and of course we have another busted up toilet with pee on it of course oh my gosh this one's actually really cute so we have a new clothes line thingy and they actually made some clothes line that go outside um the grape actually made this and you just add some pillars and then you put clothes line from side to side so instead of making the clothes look gross you can actually make them look good and put them outside um like you're drying them you know so let's uh, do that as well i'm just gonna x out so i can go back because i'm too lazy to go all the way back in the camera okay all right let's get some pillars i mean we can get whatever pillars we want so i'm just okay those are too thick i'm just gonna get some pillars let's make it like yay big and then we're gonna go into decorate new and then we need the clothes on me and the standard placement you gotta click that so we can get custom placement and then you just drag it from top to top and boom now you have clothesline also i feel like you should make this a little bit shorter i think the pillars are way too high because i'm a shorty irl guys i don't know if you know this but i ain't tall okay i am not a tall girl so <laughs> If I tried to do that in IRL, I, I couldn't reach the clothes. All right, so this is a little bit better for all my short friends here, okay? Whoever's short, I got you covered, all right? And then you can put some laundry baskets around to make it look even better. Um, but there you have a little clothes line right there. Oh, also to make this toilet a little better, how do we? How about we add a little plunger? I wish the plungers were usable, I'm not gonna lie. And there we have it, guys beautiful the mouse still hasn't come out like i think it's shy or maybe i broke it maybe the cage is too small and it died i don't know you can put fences in between mouse holes and the mice will race it's so cute oh my gosh do we do a mice race guys <laughs> let me know if you guys want to see that <laughs> and then shenanigans just put a bunch of mouse traps everywhere and um yeah that, that could be a hack <laughs> who's gonna get the cheese without dying this is actually super smart if you guys want to make like a fnaf wall squidward lover did a dirt stain and then a striped variant texture thingy um so if you guys are making fnaf in blocksburg use the dirt stain walls this looks exactly like fnaf and then girl has some more pictures of oh my gosh the busted up pipe that is actually so right guys we made a busted up toilet right but blocksburg also added what where is it where is it they added this exposed wall piping now with this exposed wall piping we can make it look like it's actually like there's water leaking from it right so if we get another sprayer also my foot's asleep i'm having a hard time guys ah oh. Okay, I can't transform this, but I think if I put it on a basic shape, maybe I can transform it. Let's see. Okay, yes, we can, guys. If you put this on a basic shape, you can transform the sprayers. Um, so for this sprayer, how about we do this? And then we do that. And then we put it inside the pipe. And it's like the perfect size. So you can't even see it. I mean, I would recommend coloring at the same time, but there we go. Oh my gosh. It, okay. The problem is that I put it way too high, I think, because now it's like coming out of the wall instead of coming out of the pipe. So um, let me do that again. Okay, wait, that works, guys. Now we have a busted up pipe. There's pipes exploding. There's toilets exploding. I mean, this place is going into shambles. And then we can just add some more of the the water but instead of making it yellow let's make it blue to make it look like water here we go and now we have a little water spill that is 
so cute though. So if you want to make some broken pipes and all, there you go. You can do that. You can also probably do it like just straight jetting out with the other sprayers. Or you can do an arch sprayer, whichever one you like. Also, we can make a secret wall, guys. This is by Shenanigans. And you know this big hole? I mean, it's so big. It doesn't really, you know, make it secretive or anything like that. But if you put a decal over it, you can make it look like the wall and still go through it. So let's try this out as our final hack, guys. We've gotten so many hacks today. I love this hack Monday, guys. We haven't had this many hacks in a while. Okay. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn the notification on, guys. Maybe we'll do a part two next week. And also, if you've made it this far and you haven't watched yesterday's video, go check it out and comment a mouse, uh, a mouse emoji. And I'll know you're from this video. What was I making? Oh, yeah. We're making a hidden, a hidden wall. I mean, a hidden door. So let's go ahead and get a wall over here. And then what we're going to do is get this large, obnoxious hole in the wall. And then we're going to go get ourselves a decal. So let's go to decals. Here we go. Get that. And we want to put this on a basic shape so we can transform it like we did last time with Co-Optus. So I'm just going to get a transparent cube. Shrink that down. Put this on top of this. And before we move it, I'm going to get out of build mode. And uh, let's change the, pic the, the picture. So basically, we can just do whatever color we want. Um, I don't think textures would be a good idea because that could easily be found. So... Let's do like a pink wall, perhaps. Okay, maybe pink is a little bit hard because there's so many. Let's just do white. Okay, what the heck is this? That's not what I wanted. Okay, is this just a white wall? Perfect, this is just a white wall. Okay, and then we just color this, this wall over here to white. Let's color the hole as well so like the border doesn't show. I don't think the border should show anyways. Now we grab the transform tool. We take the basic shape from the back and then we just put it inside the wall. Okay, we can still see the hole on that side. Maybe if I like put it in the middle like that. Okay, so one side for sure is gonna be... Oh my gosh, wait, this this looks so... What? I'm like in another realm, guys. This is a portal to another dimension or something. Did we just create a portal to a different dimension? What is happening? So one side, you're gonna be able to see the hole. So I think that's gonna be the, hi the, the, the side where you hide, of course. But then this side, you can sort of see a little bit of the, um, a little bit of the hole itself. Not the hole, but like the picture. So maybe use this as like maybe a painting. Maybe if you put a painting instead, it would be more cohesive. I don't know. Okay, and now I should be able to go through it. So let's see if I can go through. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys, you can't. Bro, we just made a secret door. That's actually wicked, guys. Who says wicked? I don't know. I'm saying wicked, and that looks really cool. All right, guys, there we go. We have to do something with this, guys. Let me know what you guys want to see uh, with this. We'll, we'll do it. Also, it's kind of trippy, guys. Look, you can, like, see through it. Like, I'm in a different dimension. Like, what? Th this is insane. What is this? Uh, like, where am I going, guys? A secret portal in Bloxburg coming soon. Okay, well, there were so many hacks, guys. Like, that was insane. We have this toilet. We have water pipes, blanket, crates, co-optus, mouse traps, uh, decks, uh, you know, uh, a full-on secret little portal clothesline i mean this was a this was a great this was a great hack monday guys but before we go guys we have to make our our trash throne you know we have to make it we have to come back with our thrones so we're gonna make a throne here real quick by using the new update item so i already have a little bit of an idea of what i want how about we get like a wooden pallet like two of them put them together and then we use a couch and put that on top Looking good. We get another palette here. All right. We get two of them. But then we shrink it a little bit. Okay, never mind. Take those two out. We don't need them anymore. So we have our little chair here. And then what do we want to do? Actually, this is a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what to do. Let's do oh, the clothesline thing. But like sideways. Let's do one like right here. Of course, we have to shrink the pillar size so as short people can get grab our clothes. Okay. We could we could possibly add a pipe on this, right? Yeah. Let, let, we could just add some pipes. Sure, sure. Why not? Uh, some mouse traps, of course. You know who dares go on my throne? <gasps> you have to pass my mouse traps to get on my throne. Mwah, ah, 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 ah. And we we can have a little bit of a bug spray on the side just to you know get rid of the rodents that come around have some trash and of course we need a dead tree so <laughs> there we go guys i think we have our trash throne here probably my worst throne to be honest and that's actually good because this is a trash update so th there's my new throne everybody <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did smash the like button down below subscribe to that notification bell so you guys never miss a video and let me know what your favorite hack item was let me know and i'll see you guys in the next one bye